Elementary Finance. This is the first lesson in our course in Elementary Finance. It can be found at the following address http colon double slash lapasserel all attached dot com slash finance it is the continuation of our course in general accounting that can be found at the same address but with slash accounting And this first lesson will explain the difference between accounting and finance. Difference between accounting and finance. Well, that can be summarized very simply. Time plays a more sophisticated role in finance than in accounting. In accounting, we meet time with how use and also with budgeting, that is planning the uh, next years, and that's a part of a cost accounting. We shall review how use. Remember what is an how you? It is a promise given to us by somebody else, usually in payment or in some transaction, promising to pay us an amount of money, say uh, 20,000 euros, that was the example I took at the beginning of the course in uh, general accounting. So this, uh, the promise is to pay that at some future date, say in 45 days. The transaction looks like this. Transaction. It takes place, say, today at a date uh, called T, little t for today. And uh, it's a transaction between two agents, A, say ourselves, and B, sometimes noted the rest of the world. We sell to B, for, for instance, goods or services worth 20,000 euros at selling price, and we receive at the same time from B an IOU uh, of 20,000 euros. This IOU is a piece of paper or the equivalent and let's take a look at this IOU. In the example from Carrefour, this IOU looks like this. It's a bit like a check. Um, it's a piece of paper that specifies pay 20,000 euros to AC, myself, for instance, on the 1st of March 2011, that is in 45 days from today. And this piece of paper is signed by Carrefour, the chief purchaser, for instance, John Doe. Actually, it is an order given by Carrefour to its own banker to pay me. But this piece of paper is given to me. This IOU is not 20,000 euros in cash. Yet, we record it in our accounting system as an asset worth 20,000 euros. You will remember from the accounting course, the debtor's account will be debited 20,000 euros. And if it's a sale, the sales account will be credited 20,000 euros. And uh, there will be an impact on the balance sheet. The balance sheet of a firm in general has two sides, assets and liabilities. On the liability side, we have four main categories, the uh, capital account that records the initial money put into the firm, then an account recording retained earnings, it's called sigma retained earnings, that is profits that were not distributed as dividends but kept in the firm, and then we have two external liabilities accounts, one of them can be called borrowings, that's money borrowed from banks or the uh, bond market. And we also have credit, free credit, an account that I call free debt. 
Uh, it's also called suppliers sometimes, also creditors or trade creditors. But in the external liabilities, we have liabilities we have to pay for and liabilities that come from free. Once again, you have to go back to the course uh, in general accounting if you are not very familiar with that. The course in general accounting is http column double slash lapasserelle.com slash accounting. And on the asset side, we have two big parts. One of them is the fixed assets. And the other one is the current assets. And in the current assets, we have stocks, also called inventories. We have client paper, also called the debtors. And we have an account of something that is as close as possible to money, that's cash and bank. Sometimes lumped together, sometimes distinguished. And the ROU we were talking about, Carrefour's ROU, goes into the debtor's account. Carrefour's ROU. Remember, the asset side of a balance sheet that we just saw is just a list of assets recorded at what we call their value. When this value varies in time, it is the historical cost to us that is recorded in, in this uh, asset side here. This asset side is rather heterogeneous. It's, a, it's some sort of a list, if you like. And it is not the value of the firm, even if the firm has no external liabilities, there is no debt. The value of a firm is something different from just the list of its assets. And we shall see that in this course in finance. So now let's turn to the financial point of view about this ROU. In finance, the ROU has a value today that's a very important concept, the value today. And this value today is not 20,000 euros. Uh, 20,000 euros is only the face value, the, that is the money promised in uh, 45 days. The value today is less. Indeed, everyone prefers 20,000 euros in cash than 20,000 20, euros as a promised in one month and a half. Therefore, uh, the ROU is worth less than 20,000 euros in cash. So in finance, we shall introduce a fundamental concept, the value today of a cash flow to be received at a certain date in the future. We shall make much use of this concept, uh, learn how to compute it, and so it's important to begin to pay attention to that. When considering an economic agent, A, usually us, we shall represent his cash flows on a timeline. Here is a timeline. Time. Um, and we, there will be arrows pointing either downwards for cash flows leaving us or upwards for cash flows coming into our purse. So minus for things pointing downwards and plus for things pointing upward. Typically, uh, we shall have, for instance, in a, uh, a cash flow today pointing downward, that is, we shall spend some money today and receive money in the future at some dates. And this money received in the future will be represented like that. So, since I talked about the value today, let's represent uh, more precisely, these values today. Every future cash flow will have a value today. And I will often represent it this way. So this is the timeline we just saw. S suppose this date is today. And these are future cash flows that for one reason or another we expect. Whereas today we have spent some money. Well, these cash flows will have a value today that we shall compute and of course compare to 
the expenditures we made today, if that was made, in order to create these cash flows. In finance, another of the fundamental concepts will be that of investment, which I just uh, introduced, in fact. An investment is the setting aside of some value that we could consume today to employ it to produce future values. So that's an amount of money that we spent today not to consume it, but in order to make, make up a machine somehow that will produce these future cash flows. This is the most fundamental representation of an investment. Some money spent today and not consumed in order to produce future values. The notion of investment comes even before money. Humankind be began to invest in Neolithic times, when farmers set aside a part of their harvest to plant the next crop. In some cases, the value today of the future cash flows, I cannot stress enough this concept of value today that will play the most fundamental role in finance, the value today of the future cash flows of an investment will actually be equal to the value invested today. In those cases, we say that the NPV, that stands for net present value, is equal to zero. That's in the case, the future cash flow that we shall produce will have exactly, altogether, the value that we invest today to create them. So, their present value net of the initial money invested will be, in that case, zero. And in some cases, we will be able to invest today a value which will produce future cash flows, the sum of the present values of which will be more than the initial value. In that case, the net present value of the investment will be greater than zero. That is the case, by the way, of the farmer setting aside a part of its crop to produce future uh, harvest. But we shall go back to this example later on. So to summarize and to finish up this lesson, in finance, we shall be concerned with evaluating, comparing and selecting investments.